There is a question. Why has Dr. Disrespect not gone to kick or rumble yet? How does he do on YouTube? Like, what is his viewership now? Somebody comes here, running camera for advertising and Doc has legit sponsors. Oh, does he? Oh, well, that's cool. They managed to hold on to them through everything. Especially considering why he was actually banned from Twitch. Oof. <sighs> you know, what a crazy world. Oh, but you guys probably don't know anything about that, huh? Jesus Christ. Go full edgy, bro. I don't care. Knock yourself out. No, never mind. Don't go full edgy because people are going to fucking post about it on my subreddit. I'm going to ban everybody. I don't want to read it. Don't go that edgy. What do you mean you said don't go full edgy? Cyber Vegan is asking me for Juneteenth, e Juneteenth emotes and he wants to emotes and everything. <laughs> and I can already see the post on my subreddit about how insensitive it is. So. Stop engaging with the Thorps? Yeah, I have stopped engaging with them. Grace was on a couple days ago. Yeah, that's when I stopped engaging with them. Is when they said they were going to turn me into the fucking FBI. <laughs> Congratulations. You understand time. It moves in one direction. You stopped engaging with them, but you met them. But you started engaging with them. <laughs> how could you stop? What do you mean? <laughs> yes. Welcome to our universe. That's how it works. You talked to them after, though, no? No, I didn't realize until I talked to Grace. I started to understand what was happening. That the reason why she was probably coming on to talk about this is because her dad probably talked to her about it. And then, um, yeah. But I'm not going to have people, like, that are pretending to call the police on me, or actually call the police on me, like... I'm not going to associate with anybody like that ever in any way, session, or form. Like, <laughs> including Grace. Do you think they actually did such shit? 100%. I put a decent chunk of money that Ben's dick has been inside Grace at least once. Probably before she was 18. Yeah, absolutely. That family is... that Ben guy is beyond fucking abusive. And it's that everything about that family is incredibly fucking sad and fucked up. Hopefully they don't the rest of the kids too. But like, yeah, that, um, that family is absolutely insanely fucked. Like, it is incredibly sad. I think listening to the wife talk is like also like ultra super solidified um, everything for me. Like it's actually fucking insane. Are you still gonna talk to the brother? There's nothing I can do. Everybody's well, at least like the three or four of them are adults. It's not like I could just say like, oh, it's fucked. But there's like there's nothing to be gained from <clears throat> from having the conversations. Ben might be one of the most manipulative dudes I've ever seen. Um. I think he's fairly manipulative, but I, the problem is just that he's surrounded by like a lot of weak people. I think the mom is probably like a pretty weak personality. Um, and then children are, <laughs> I mean, easy as fuck to manipulate, right? It's not hard to manipulate a kid. Would Ben Thor be the first person who was too crazy to engage for you? No, there's typically when people cross certain lines, I'll stop engaging, right? <clears throat> so like redacted with accusation or not the sex for the, the pay for play accusation, Mr. Girl with 150,000 word article. Um, like once people, there are certain lines that when somebody cross, uh, I'll, I'll stop engaging. Did you talk about Hunter Avalon leaks at all? Um, I don't want to. I feel like there are some things that like are, it's, it's like so personal. It's like to cover it a ton. I'm basically just like shitting on some dude's like personal life, which I don't really have much of a desire to do. Um, I will say that that the black star guy or whatever who was involved in all of that like from a little bit i know behind the scenes that dude is insanely unhinged um the way that even he was talking the leak conversations looked really fucking creepy um i don't know the details of the timeline hunter says that everything happened with clarissa i think was the name like after they'd already decided to be divorced like i i don't know but like i don't want to sit there and like obviously like when you're talking like divorces and like everything about that situation is like pretty sad and like fairly fucked up and that Clarissa person isn't like even that much of a public figure. So, so like, I don't know what the, I don't know like what the point is of like covering that that much. Like if Chud Logic had like a messy divorce come up or I don't even know if he's still married to the mom or whatever, but like something like that came up, like, I don't think I would like spend a lot of time covering on that. Like, it's just, it's not very newsworthy. Um, and it's just like incredibly personally um, damaging. Like, why would I, you know, you're right, your name came up in the Black Dudes video. Yeah, I know. He, the guy hates me. He does a lot of weird shit behind the scenes, but I don't want to talk about like He's just a weird dude. Uh, he made like three accounts, I think, to post that. I don't actually know if it was him or not, but it seemed like people were making accounts to like try to post the video on my subreddit even. Um, I know he tried to post it himself on one account. Um, yeah, I'm good on that. There was a post on your sub on the video at 100 views. I think that was his account that did it, yeah. 
Is Switch still enforcing outside actions? Could that play a role in your account remaining banned? No. Could Logic went off the Ben Thorpe guy today? Yeah, I mean, the only really way to play is to just not engage, unfortunately. Like, there are some people who... So here, here is like... So let me give a little nuance to this, something I've learned as a public figure, okay? There's a saying called, no press is bad press. Or... There's no such thing as bad press, sorry. Um, Jesus, sorry, okay. I'm worried something's going to come in. Um, there's no such thing as bad press. It's like a common saying that people utter. Um, there's no such thing as bad press is only true if you're a nobody, if nobody knows who you are, because that's how you like get on the map, right? No press is bad press. However, once you're already an established figure, um, there is a such thing as bad press. Bad press can be incredibly damaging to your reputation, to your fan base, to sponsors, et cetera, et cetera. So there is bad press. So when you're dealing with a figure that's too small and unhinged, the thing is, is for them, there is no such thing as bad press. They will act unhinged and they will do whatever the fuck they can to draw attention to themselves. But for you, you're essentially like fighting with a, a nobody who can never suffer reputational harm because they don't have a reputation or it's already like the worst type of reputation they can have. So the, the only winning move is to, is to not play as frustrating as it is. Like you just have to, yeah. You know. If there's like a big thing every now and then, like I might address, but like that's also why for a long time I didn't say anything about the leafy stuff and I only made like that one statement. Um, like the, the, for some people, for people that have no value, like their reputation is worthless. If you have a reputation that's worth something, you can't afford to engage with that person. Um, it, it's like, it'd be like a billionaire going onto the street or going like into the projects and like looking to like talk shit to people. Like they're going to be people that want to fight you to the death because these people have nothing to live for, nothing to lose. Right. So of course they will. But like you, you're not supposed to do that um, if you if you have shit going in your life, you know. Any thoughts on the new forms of Reddit protests? Whether they're posting like John Oliver or whatever? Um, I don't know. I have a stronger opinion. Zone. Deep dish pizza or pan pizza? Um, I feel like I've tried deep dish pizza once in my life and it was too much. It was like pizza soup. But maybe it's just a bad deep dish. I don't know. Does this guy do anything different? I think he's used his relationship with his wife as a defense does sometimes to debate it's online for his lifestyle. It seems like he's willing to use his wife's relationship as a shield and he's accepted being used as a weapon against him too, no? Um, I mean, yeah, technically, but I haven't seen it, so. But I mean, yeah, if he has will, if he's wielded it as a weapon, then it is a fair game, I guess, yeah. He said, I'm living the trad life, you're living the mad life. <laughs> Jesus. I mean, technically, it's still true. Getting divorced is kind of the trad life, right? <laughs> Do you consider you've wilded your relationship as a weapon? Those same people would argue I've, I've wheel, oh, wielded my relationship as a weapon? Um, yeah, probably to some extent, yeah. Actually, no, I don't know if I have. Because I don't usually you I don't usually advocate for my lifestyle. Like, I'll make fun of the fact that these guys haven't been in relationships, but like arguably, if I wasn't with Melina, I think I would wield my past relationships as weapons. Like, I've been in longer relationships, um, even in my past relationships than these guys have currently been. So I think I'd probably do it regardless. Daily Guna is unhinged and retarded. She's going to be the next person to backstab Destiny. I give her backstab percentage chance. I give it like a 30, 35% is where she's at right now on that. We'll see. Farhar would backstab Destiny way before Lauren. I think Farhar is relatively non-confrontational. I feel like her version of like, I feel like if, if Farhar ever backstabs me, I think it would just be like telling other people that like she thinks I'm an asshole or something. That would be my guess. Lauren trick is way more like, yeah. Lauren has a higher chance of backstabbing than Farah so far. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. They could both backstab me. Who knows? <laughs> Reddit on the Lauren Zena drama. Zena was getting down in the trenches of the subreddit. I, if I'm like super personally involved with like all parties, I'm just not gonna say anything. Um, I'm not gonna like. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not gonna say for that. Because because if, if I take a side in that, then it's gonna be me. Like now we're now we all have to get like very 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 personal. Like, am I about to interject and make? Um, like declarations about like Sneeko's fucking relationships, especially after I got like so mad at him for like talking about mine. Well, I got mad at him for lying about mine to be fair. Um, I don't know. Feels like not a good meme. So you have a side? <laughs> of course I have a side <laughs> that I feel very strongly about. But I don't think it's my place to say anything. 